Hi everyone, my name is Athena Island and we are talking about AI products. Today we are in Israel, in Tel Aviv, in Mecca of startups. And I want to introduce you to Oren, he is a CEO of InLoop. Hi Oren. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, uh, can you please tell me what is famous about this place where we are? Okay, so this is called Sarona in Tel Aviv. This used to be a military base until a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and before that it used to be a German settlement of Templars. This is a sect of, of Germans who used to live here in the 20th century. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a place and a few years ago it was developed into a shopping center and restaurants and also a lot of startups which are based here. So the first question is about your background. How everything starts? So is it because of you inspired long, long years ago or it happened in university mm -hmm. or so? Okay, so I, I uh, studied electrical engineering but business was always my thing. Mm -hmm. So I studied it as background. Uh, I joined the uh, Inlook uh, two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. uh, where it needed to turn around. I needed to turn around the, the company, turn around the company. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, and and that's. I mean, I, I did, do like technology. Mm -hmm. I do like startups in this stage, mm -hmm. and that's what brought me into. In mm -hmm. Okay, so and about Inloop, what are you doing? What is the product? Okay, so you, we use artificial intelligence and machine learning to curate content, mm -hmm. and we deliver. Um, Which kind of contact? Con it's normally B2B, so uh -huh. business, professional content, mm -hmm. and uh, we are agnostic to the, to the subject. Mm -hmm. So whenever our client tells us what he's interested about, mm -hmm. we will go and look automatically by machine, find mm -hmm. the most relevant content, bring it in, mm -hmm. uh, rank it, tag it, and then mm -hmm. deliver it through multiple channels mm -hmm. uh, to the readers. And so is it text or it's pictures or videos? It's, it's everything, I mean, it's based on text. Mm -hmm. So it's text, but it's also videos, mm -hmm. podcasts and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and after it tagged and uh, you applied in social networks, And right? then we deliver it to, mm -hmm. to, to the readers mm -hmm. uh, and different readers would get different content according to their interest mm -hmm. and their behavior. Okay. And about the value, can you tell me what is the value of AI technology uh, to businesses and to mm -hmm. just usual people? So in our case, uh, technology helps to replace, not to replace, but to help people. So it can do a lot, a lot of work. It can read through mm -hmm. a lot of articles, find mm -hmm. it all over the web, read it, make sure it's relevant, mm -hmm. find the most relevant content and then bring it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it actually is doing the heavy lifting uh, of people uh, which needs to, to write content or read a lot of content and, and bring it in. Mm -hmm. So about the value, what value brings uh, AI technology to businesses and to usual people? So in, in our case, it helps um, people and company to do the heavy lifting mm -hmm. um, by going through a lot of content, mm -hmm. finding it first, going through it, make, making sure it's relevant, mm -hmm. and then bring it, it, bring it, it in. Mm -hmm. So it allows, it, it, helps people to concentrate on what they are uh, uh, good at mm -hmm. and, and doing the, the, uh, uh, the heavy lifting, the, the black work, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, by a machine. Mm -hmm. You can do it in scale uh, and much faster. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me something more about your clients? Which types of business do mm -hmm. help? So actually, at the end of the day, everyone who has a community wants to communicate with its community, mm -hmm. uh, can use our, our platform. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in the uh, trade association space mm -hmm. in the US, mm -hmm. which provides their members mm -hmm. with uh, industry news. Mm -hmm. So we do that for them. And then uh, recently we pivoted uh, also to the exhibition uh, world, because mm -hmm. we believe that uh, with our technology, we, we can expand the exhibition, not just being three, four days, mm -hmm. but uh, throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So we help uh, uh, exhibition organizers to stay uh, uh, in contact with, with the audience, mm -hmm. with the visitors of the exhibitions and their uh, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. so, Okay, so uh, your uh, R&D office is here in Israel, right? Right. And uh, you said that you're working with the United States. Right. And which other countries uh, are you shipping and marketing? So we have, in the, uh, we deliver all over the U.S. I mean, our readers are worldwide. Yes. Mm -hmm. But our clients, so, mm -hmm. so we have uh, our clients and we have 
the readers, mm -hmm. which are their members, their mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. So uh, the community is all over the world, yes. but our main business nowadays is in the US, mm -hmm. and in the exhibition space, it's mainly in the UK. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about technology. Mm -hmm. So, as far as I understand, you have different type of data, right? It's text, it's uh, video, it's pictures, mm -hmm. and that means that probably you use different technologies and different sources to, you know, fulfill your data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whatever is on the web, we get. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever is in, in, in uh, news articles, in magazines, in blogs, in company websites, mm -hmm. and so on, that's, our, that's where we go and get our content from. Mm -hmm. And then we use uh, proprietary algorithms uh, of, of natural language processing mm -hmm. and machine learning mm -hmm. to understand the text and then to grade it, mm -hmm. uh, to rank it, and then to prepare it for delivery. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly our uh, proprietary uh, technology. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me, did you start from text and then you moved to pictures? And, or was that something where you started and then you grew, yeah, so, grew up so, from? So the core is text uh -huh. and also uh, videos and so on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's based on, on the text, which is uh, tagging mm -hmm. the, this content. Yes. Mm -hmm. So but the easiest was text, right? Definitely, yes. Okay. So, and can you tell me uh, where do you see the next frontier for AI development? Yeah, I, I think the thing is uh, for people to adopt it. Mm -hmm. So I think that the early adopters are already there, mm -hmm. but many uh, of clients and people which I talk to mm -hmm. uh, are afraid of it. Yes. They are afraid if it will make mistakes, mm -hmm. whether it's reliable, um, and, and so on. So this, I believe, is the main challenge because from the technical perspective, I think that uh, we are already there, mm -hmm. but it's just now the trust of people and understanding mm -hmm. that in some cases, machine can do better than human beings. Yes, the main idea of this channel was to explain businesses and usual people that AI is helping. And mm -hmm. AI, it's not a plastic robot which kick you out of your <laughs> job, right. but it's something that helps you. So can you tell me, um, uh, when you're interacting with your clients and we're talking to, your, to them, are there a lot of conscious, you know, people uh, in your client? Yeah, I, you I think it, it, or it's, you need to explain every single time. But. So I think it's mainly a matter of uh, age. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. So so digital natives are much more um, open for that mm -hmm. uh, and understanding uh, of the advantages. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would say I could, I could uh, assess quite easily who are the decision makers and then mm -hmm. I, I, I could say, okay, whether it's, it'll be a, a smooth sail or whether it will be an uphill battle of convincing them and showing and mm -hmm. uh, until they, they, they gain the reliability and, mm -hmm. and trust mm -hmm. uh, and, and see that it's, it, it, is, it is better. Mm -hmm. But we can build our world just to younger people, you know. That's why maybe you can tell us you have a secret or how you explain usually that we need to use AI and really have benefit from it. So A, the fact that I'm not so young has an <laughs> advantage because uh, <laughs> I remember the world before. Ah, okay. And um, ag again, it's, it's just uh, a matter of finding the right composition between mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. uh, and human being mm -hmm. and allowing technology to do the things that people can do mm -hmm. Um, but cannot do so fast in, in such scale, mm -hmm. um, and and as good, it's it's uh, you know the routine job, the the, the the doing it, like it's it's all done. The machine does not complain about working hours. Doesn't need to, to eat, to sleep, to go to vacations. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just doing the job and doing it fast okay. and good. Yes. <laughs> and can you please tell me what is the next step for in loop? Okay, so I think that we have uh, the technology nailed down. It's a very good platform, very helpful, very clear value proposition. Um, and the question is how we take it forward. I think that uh, if we could find good partners, uh, we can run faster, and that's, that's something that we need. So you need partners, right? We do need partners, investors, and so on, yes. Okay, so Oren, thank you for your time. My pleasure. And guys, what do you need to remember about Oren and InLoop? 
that they're an international company uh, with content automation platform and they are using different technologies like NLP, um, different different other technologies and they have users all around the world and maybe you will be the next user of InBoop. Thank you.